ever had moments where you can kick yourself, throw yourself down a hill, throw yourself off a cliff, just basically simply just uh, not exist on the on the planet anymore? Well, case in point, a few examples right here. So chess, as we know, is a, a, a lovely, beautiful game. Um, when you've got advantages in the games, you feel really good, you feel really powerful. Coming towards the end game, you're looking at trying to gain further advantages, improving your position on the board, all of that good stuff. In this particular game here, this is one of the main reasons why we're looking at the creative logical process. So the opponent captured, we've got a knight, we've got a bishop, we've got a pawn in the corner, so we grab the pawn, no problem, so we're up a minor piece in this game. King moves out of the way. We now angle to try and get their bishop off the board. Position our knight nicely, so doubling up on the pawn. Grab the pawn. No issues here. We're in an advantageous um, situation. All we need to do is jostle our king a little bit, reposition, start closing down their king area. What do we do? We bring the knight up. As soon as I placed the knight there, I realized the dilemma. Bishop can take, now it's a draw. So I was kicking myself. So I continued playing the game and <laughs> I continued and continued. I knew it was a draw, but just, just in case the opponent w maybe brought the king to the far side, which they were never going to do. So we brought our king across. There was no way they were moving their king across. So we're just angling with the bishop, trying to move at maneuver. So at the end of the day, we just went for the draw that it was. So it's unfortunate that in a circumstance like that, where you've got the advantage and it just slips away from you and you actually see it as you've placed the piece down. So annoying. This is why we're trying to practice this creative logical process, Log logicalizing the creativity of the situation.